Hello, my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is going to be a very special video and I'm so excited um, to share this with you guys. It's been so hard to keep it a, se a secret, but this is the um, All for Fall Crochet Collab with Caroline over at For the Love of Crochet and Cassandra at Craftably Ever After. Um, I am so excited about this. Um, we have been planning this for a little while and talking about it and working out the details and it has been so much fun um, hearing their ideas and getting to know these ladies. I have enjoyed it so much and um, in this um, collab we uh, wanted to have a theme and we decided to go with fall. Um, I know that when I'm making things for seasons or for um, holidays or just whatever, I like to get a jump start on them so that I can use them during that actual um, season or um, holiday. So we thought that we would do a fall collab. And in this um, collab, what we are doing is we are choosing a, a pattern. Um, we're all doing different patterns. We don't even know what the other people are doing. Um, we're all choosing our own pattern. And in this video, I'm going to show you the yarns that I have picked out, but I am not going to tell you all the pattern that I'm going to be making. So in the next video, which will come out on July the 9th, I will show you my finished pattern or my finished product of a pattern. And um, if you all would like to guess um, in the comments what you think that I'm making, I think that would be fun. Um, but what uh, we are doing to make it a little bit more interesting is we're all having to incorporate the color green. So our challenge color is green and our projects do have to have green on them somewhere. Um, we didn't specify how much green like if it had to be a little bit or a lot of green or you know whatever but it does have to have the color green in it and I just think that makes it a little bit more fun we are going to use the hashtag and I will put it right here the hashtag all for fall crochet and if you all make videos um, and you would like to participate I think that would be so much fun or if you have Instagram, you can use this hashtag and we will be able to see your photos. Or if you don't have that or you don't make videos and you still want to participate, you can always email me or Cassandra or Caroline with your picture um, and show us what you've created for fall. So I think that would be a lot of fun. And um, if we do get any emails and you all want us to share them in our um reveal videos, um, we will do that. So um, I'm just going to jump right in and show you the colors that I have picked out for my project. And my project has a lot, a lot of colors. So it's going to be very colorful, but it is a fall themed project, even though it has a lot of colors. So my first color, um, I'm using All Drops Love You um, 7 from Wool, Wool Warehouse that I have got. Um, but there is a couple of different brands that I have mixed in with this just because I did not have um, the right color in this um, particular yarn. So I will show you all the Drops Love You 7 yarns that I'm using first. And I will be using a 2.75 millimeter hook on my project. But this color right here is number 34 and it is Rust. And I love that color. That is very fall colors to me. My next color is this color, which is number 33 and it is called Goldenrod. So I have that one. And then I have this one right here, which is called Crimson and it is number 20. It's not as broad as that. Yeah, that's about right. So I have that one. I'm going to have to move some stuff. I don't want to drop all this. <laughs> okay. And then my next color is this color, which is light blue. 
and it is number six. Let's see. And then I also have this color, which is just black, and it is number two. I don't know if it's got something on it. It's number two. And then I have number seven, which is jeans blue, like blue jeans, jeans blue. Really pretty blue, and as you can see, these are different contrasting colors. And some of these colors I only need a little bit of. Um, so, and then my last color is this color, and it's not showing up as green as it really is. There you go. Now that looks about right. So it's not like a grass green color, but it is a really, really pretty color of green. And this color is called Bottle Green, and it is number 30. So that is about right, right there. So that is my challenge color, green, that will be going into my project. And then like I said, I do have two other brands, and there's just one color from each brand, just because I needed um, these colors and I didn't have them in the drops um, yarn. So I did pick out this um, Chepier's Katona Cotton and it is number 255 and it is the color Shell. So I did pick out this. It's just a leftover skein but there's plenty still left there. And then I also picked out this Hobie 84 Rainbow and this color is number 82 and I will put the color name on the screen because I did not write that down. I knew I was forgetting something. But this is, um, well as you can see, it's a lot brighter than the color on that giraffe there. So that is my color um, yellow from Hobie. So that is all the colors that I have to use for this project. Like I said, it is a lot of different um, colors that go into this, but I do have my color green, so that is good because I did get my challenge color in there, but um, some of these colors I'm only going to be using just a very small amount, so I would love to hear what you think that I am going to um, be making with all of those colors, and I'm just going to look at my notes and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, and like I said, this collaboration is with um, Caroline over at um, For the Love of Crochet and Cassandra from Craftably Ever After. And when their videos, um, when I can get the um, link to their first collab video, I will have it linked in my description box. Um, Cassandra does live in Denmark, so we are having to schedule these so that they can come out all at the same time because there is such a time difference between all three of us. Like we're all, um, me and Caroline both you live in the United States, but she is across the world. So we wanted to um, set our times and schedule these to come out at the same time. I think that would be fun. So it may be just a little bit after my um, video comes out that I will be able to have their links. Um, but you can always search their names if it's not there and find their videos. So I am really excited about this. I think it's going to be so much fun and I cannot wait to see um, what these ladies come up with. They are um, such wonderful crocheters. I love everything that they make and um, they're just so creative. And I was so happy that they included me in this collaboration and that we could do this together. So I hope that you all enjoy the, uh, these videos and this collaboration. And do not forget that if you decide to join us, the hashtag is hashtag all letter, or no, not letter, <laughs> number four, um, fall crochet. And I will have it right here because I just messed that up. Um, but you all can send us pictures if you don't make videos or if you don't have Instagram. So like I said, guys, I... I am so excited about this and I hope that you all are too and my um, my reveal video or all of our reveal videos 
will come out and be posted on July the 9th. So make sure you check back then and see what project we created. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.